are we doing this? We could have stopped at nine, no. like gentlemen. <laughs> I'm going way. to make it so that you have more <laughs> money than could ever be helpful. Please do. <laughs> this is super terrible. Uh, yeah. How can I not take that card? Exactly. Why? Oh. Oh. many Christmas. There we go. Good morning, Andy here at Board Game Barrister, our local game shop in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It is Tuesday once again, which means it's time for our Tuesday game table, and today we are playing the game of Allegory. We'll be crafting three tales and try to do a better job of it than everyone else around the table by outbidding them. I'm here with my fellow barristers, Gordon, Elizabeth, Glenn, and Ian. There's five of us. This game plays up to six players, so we're okay here, and we're going to start right now. This will be a really quick overview of the gameplay and allegory, but if you want to learn how to play the game itself in its entirety, we have a play-along tutorial as well for the game that I'll link in the description. This is Allegory, a game where each player will be collecting cards to tell a trio of tales so that they might have the best body of work at the end of the game. Each card in the game has three elements, a number value, a theme symbol, and a frame representing which of your three tales it belongs in. We'll talk about scoring in more detail later, but for a quick overview, your end score will be based on the values of the three tales you told, sets of three matching cards you are able to collect, and whether you are able to collect cards that match your secret moral card. How do you get cards? Well, each player starts with a stack of 15 lore chips that they're going to use to bid for cards. We'll try to outbid each other, and as soon as somebody wins a bid, they get to select which card they'd like to add to their tales from the center of the table. But this is where it gets interesting. When a player wins the bid, they get to select that card they want to add to their tails, but they then have to distribute all of the lore that they bid among the cards on the table, and whoever takes those cards on a future turn will get the lore on it as well. Instead of raising the bid, a player can choose to rest, putting their rest token out in the center of the table. This means they get to take back any lore they've already bid, and they get to look out at the inspiration pool of cards that are available here, and if they want to, they can take the card that has the most lore on it and all those chips as well. We'll play until a player collects their 10th card and then score up our tails. All right, I'll be making our first bid, but before I do that, remember to hit the like and subscribe button so you can see all of our Tuesday game tables when we post them. I don't know what's good. I'm going to start with three. That feels really high. <laughs> Y'all can rest yourselves Oof. right on <laughs> So if I rest right Spice. away, can I, I, can't no, I, take, I can't take any Zero of these. cards. Do, yeah. I, do I care about any of these? All right, here we go. 10 minutes? Yeah, okay, you got clock. it. Um, <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Nice. <laughs> That's right. it. Take no Get him a chest take. clock, right. everybody. Uh, I'll, oh, there's some nice cards. I will, I'll there are nice mm, cards. You are team there. nature, aren't you? Hey. Mm. Mm. I will rest indeed. Indeed. Is I rest in need? Is I rest in need? Yeah. It's worth two in the bush. Let's and see what. Andy is out. <laughs> Alright, so then... So you are going I to select your card. Take the card of my yep. choice, alright. Of course. I'll take and then that. you'll flip the top stack, Refill. and then place your coins as Ooh. you see fit. Yeah. Oh, it's hammer time for sure! sure! Team Hammer. Allegory, the game of mixed idioms. Yeah. I'll go like this... And... Uh, and you can double up if you want. Yeah, but let's make Ooh. it really interesting. Oh, oh you're Anything some, could happen. Someone can take that three for free. I want to have a chance of getting oh. some of my money back. You're going to do it. Ooh, it's okay. not great. You're I'm going to be honest. I know I'm up. I know I'm up. Ian reaps the benefits. Ooh. Oh. Take your rest tokens back. <laughs> Fleetwood Max out there already. again. <laughs> What's my plan? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's real sketchy. I just don't understand what you get excited about. This is part of the bluffing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them confused. Keep them on their toes. Her. 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 <laughs> the chain lady. Oh my god. Why her? There's really no good way to do this. Because yep. Yep. if I put them in a big stack, Ian's just going to take it. Yeah. Well, that, then you that's part it. of the point. That's, yeah. But that's okay. Like, my stack is literally nothing. Yeah. So, like, you don't want to give me green. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking uh, at when I'm it? making nature. my decisions, <laughs> I'm looking ahead now for the first mm -hmm. time. There's, there's really nothing to... Don't listen to Ian. Whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He's not yeah, wrong, folks. We still don't know Never listen to me in any game, to be honest. Even when I'm the humans, I play as the aliens. It's bad news. It's bad news. <laughs> Didn't even count them. <laughs> 
My bid is seven, apparently. <laughs> Your bid is seven? I think I have seven left. Seven's a big number. He wants the four of suns, what is that? Andy is energy. not in energy, energy yet, yeah. so Andy really needs yeah, that. There's energy. two good energies in there, so it's a fine play. Oh, do I, do I, do I push this up we're working to together against all of you. It's a fine play. I... Ian's just taking stuff for one. Push it back. up to eight. Oh, that leaves me. Nah. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Elizabeth, I, I missed it. There are other people in this game. <laughs> I'm prepared. All right, so to you, empty my you should put me in a really difficult <laughs> position because I was going to drive Andy up to eight because that's exactly how many I have left. Wow. But now I can't do that. that. Been... So, pro tip I counted how much. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andy goes to nine. Seriously, this is not how you play this game. This is how you play. Yes, it is. Yeah. No, it's not. That's a you win because you've just been one at a time. Got him, getting all these cards and he's doing this to me. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you get first bid next turn. Do it next turn. <laughs> get you can take all of these by letting me. Them up, dude. Don't let him get it for free. Or leave really put Don't let him get it for free. To get because there's still Glenn who's going to come back around and totally free coins and whatever I want. So, but what I'm really doing is I'm, I'm looking at Glenn's stack. <laughs> Why, Why are we doing this? We could have stopped at nine, oh. like gentlemen. <laughs> that's the most anyone spent on a card this game. I mean, that's what happens when you collect coins the first four yeah. rounds of the game. And he's going to up you by one. Okay, I'm in right. it now. You got it. Cool. Yes. Great. I feel like a winner. Yes. <laughs> I don't even want that card. Well, that's what he was trying to tell. I know. I know. I know, but the, the, but I'm never gonna get the How card. How can that I make I this want. terrible for you? I just. This is the way. This is indeed I'm the way. I'm going to make it so that you have more <laughs> money than could ever be helpful. Please do. <laughs> this is not a problem for me. That's horrible. Yeah, you just gave Elizabeth the free. Drown. <laughs> You just gave Elizabeth the free stack. That's oh, fine. What? She's the one. <laughs> I'm rooting for her now. You did this. What? I you were really encouraging him the whole time. I, I do realize we were That's playing exactly the That's exactly what you wanted to happen. <laughs> it is, actually. Yes. I know. Yeah, yeah, 100% was. This is super terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How can I not take that card? Exactly. Why? Uh, she many Christmas. There we go. Now he's going to drown right, in his own way. All right, now we have an actual game, though. Well, except Glenn wins whatever he wants. Because the coins don't matter. We can play another That's, round. Right? Well, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I take a card and that ends right. it. Yeah. Telling you as well. We get to play another round. Okay. <laughs> okay. How much is that? Count it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nineteen. Okay. All right. All right. Everybody take the cards he wants, quick. So what I actually want is a. A heart, because that's my secret, or uh, a mass. A heart only scores in one you don't already have a heart in. Correct. So I, and, the, and so it would be heart. a not red heart, but there's no. Oh, so there's a blue heart. Yeah, there you so go. So that's not bad. Easy. That's a point, but a set is two points. Yep. Correct. So this is actually better for me. All right, we're getting ready for scoring, but you know the drill. Before we get there, if you liked this, go ahead, hit that like button so more people can be introduced to it. If you like what we do every week, hit that subscribe button and you'll get our videos on Tuesday, a day ahead of everybody else. And come by and see us. If you're in Milwaukee, visit the store. We'd love to see you. Or if you can't make it to Milwaukee, but you want to chat with us, use our virtual barrister video chat service and we'll give you some fantastic ideas. All right, let's go to scoring. First, add up the sum of the card values for each of your individual tails. The tail with the lowest sum is your tail score for this game. Next, check over all your theme cards across all three tails for any sets of three matching themes you've collected. Each of these sets of three is worth two points. A card may not be part of more than one set, so you would need to have collected six or more matching theme cards to score the same bonus twice for one theme symbol. And last, reveal the moral card dealt to you at the beginning of the game. You gain one more bonus point for each of your tails that contains at least one card matching your moral, for a maximum possible bonus of three more points. Add up your tail score, your theme bonuses, and your moral bonus. The player with the highest final score has mastered the art of allegory. Okay. I'll go first. I've got zero on the board, unfortunately. My secret identity is Umbrella Lady, surprise, surprise! <gasps> Umbrella Even though Lady. I took a negative umbrella as my first pick. 
Um, <laughs> sure did. All right, uh, so I've got one, two, three umbrellas, so yes, so that's three points there, and then wow. I've got... Oh, that's right, per stack, yeah. that's right. And then I've got uh, a set of three umbrella ladies here. Oh, all the efficiency. Um, got some sense and then I've got there, three coins, and unfortunately, the rest was not able to be stacked into point scoring, so that's five, seven total. Seven total. My lowest stack is four, and I got one of my moral and no other sets. So I have five. All right. All right. Uh, my lowest stack is four as well. I was the wizard. Thank goodness. I had a nightmare yeah. that when I was flipping that, it would be something <laughs> else. <laughs> it's the wizard. I did get a one wizard into each of my three tails, nice. and that's a set of wizards. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dang. In the end. That's a lot of points. Okay. Um, my low stack is two, so I'm starting from a very low base there. Um, uh, I was the heart. I have uh, only one stack with hearts in it. Uh, I kept trying to get more and I kept failing, so that gets me to three points on the first card that I took in the game. Great. Nice. Um, <laughs> and then I have a set of masks. Uh, to get me to five points. I have a set of arrows to get me to seven points and a set of Whoa. chains to get me to nine points. You spent all your money! And I spent end. all my money. Okay, we'll see if it matters. <laughs> well, I'm tied with you, so, mm -hmm. so far it I mean, matters. But it might not. All right, so for my low scoring stack, I'm um, pretty sure that it's the, uh, the spirit stack. Mm -hmm. So, the let's cancel out, and so my low score stack is two. For my theme bonus, I have three matching uh, hammers, so that's two more points. So two and two is four, and my secret moral. Uh, is actually Hammer Guy. Oh, Hammer Guy, guy. nice. <laughs> and I had Hammer Guy in two of my tails, so that's two points. Six. So that's... Six. Okay, I lost track. Yep, six. All right, so the scores are... Seven, five, five nine, 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 and six. Pretty right. close. Pretty, pretty Honestly, tight. one or two more sets swings that. And so the tiebreaker... Money breaker. is everything. Is I win on tiebreaker. Is it really? Oh, yeah, wow. Lord, okay. Once again, Money does buy happiness. <laughs> it's a continuing theme, everybody out there. So um, just remember, S stick with the it. The more rich you are, the happier you get. Indeed. Well, thank you so much for watching us play Allegory today at our Tuesday game table. Tune in next week for another Tuesday game table, and we will see you next time. Bye.